Well, as you can see today, I have on my bright orange kid stand shirt. It's like a, like a safety shirt, safety worker shirt. And I am wearing this bright orange safety shirt uh, in conjunction with what I'm going to share with you today, which is uh, my latest project that I just finished. Um, it's a Dodge Dually, um, Dodge Ram Dually, I should say. And this is the, well, the only one they really sell, but this is a regular truck that I um, converted into a fully functioning tow truck, which is, um, I'm gonna show you some of the features that uh, that were added to it. And I think it's really cool. It, it was it was a pretty big challenge, um, but fun at the same time. You know, this is, stuff like this is why I still do this. Like, to think outside the box and just kind of come up with certain things fit it down to, to size and whatever would make it fully function. That's, that's the best thing for me. You know, it keeps me on my toes and it's exciting. So, um, yeah, but let's get into it. All right. So, uh, one of the first things you notice is that the whole rear has been completely chopped off and replaced with this custom, uh, flatbed, uh, fixture. And, um, like I said earlier in the video, it is fully functioning. Um, you have your air tank here. You have your bag set up right here in front of the wheel. And it's on both sides. And it also has a winch up top for, you know, loading or unloading, you know, any little car or, you know, whatever. <laughs> and, and um, yeah, made out of, you know, all aluminum, ABS top. Uh, try to keep it lightweight because it is a big truck. And it's, you know, kind of hard to lift certain things if, you know, you do steel or anything like that. So I try to keep everything aluminum. Um, this truck does sit on a full frame. Uh, it's a completely full custom frame. The, the old frame is you know tossed out. And also, uh, you notice, you know, we're sitting on custom uh dually wheels in the front and the rear with the uh custom lug nut setup, stuff like that. Um let me go ahead and turn it on for you. Of course, you have your normal startup sound with a little turbo diesel uh, sound to it. As you can see, we installed some uh, emergency flashers up top on the rear and, you know, in the front. So you can see it from both angles. And that's all being controlled by this module that's located underneath the dash that you um, won't be able to really see, but it is kind of hidden under here. Um, and that controls the different flashing of the lights, stuff like that. They could stay on or they could do different uh, types of flashes. Um, let's take a look at the controls for the bed. If you come here, you see these two switches. And originally I wanted to put a setup like a real tow truck where they usually have it in the rear with, you know, little knobs, stuff like that. But I don't know, it, it, it seemed like a lot of unnecessary extra work. <laughs> so I kind of just cut it. Uh, short and put them here very easily accessed um, and yeah so this controls the up this controls the down so once you hit this button notice the bags inflating and uh, yeah full tilt goes all the way up and then with it up now you can see you know our two bags you can see the custom frame you can see the where the pump sits and also you know the tank is obvious because you can see that there's your solenoid block that comes from the tank straight into uh from the tank straight into, from the pump tank cylinder block and then you have your winch which is controlled by this little remote right here um, I was hoping to find one. Uh, I found this one locally, but I was hoping to find one that had like the switches on it also, like maybe, you know, a cord or anything like that. But unfortunately, this is the only way to control the winch. And uh, you long press it to turn on, blue lights on, and then you have your extend and you have your retract button. So if we hit the extend button, let's take a look at what happens.
Now, because it's hitting that block back there, it's not gonna extend all the way out, but this does go all the way to the floor where you'll be able to kind of load or unload, you know, your little toy car or anything extra that you're trying to put on there. And if you keep extending it out, this hook actually comes out and goes as far as you need it to go to hook whatever you need to hook up. And then you hit the retract button. Now it's set up that way that once you hit the retract button, not only is it gonna pull the car up, but it's gonna hit this stop right here. And once it hits the stop, it's gonna pull the gate back up. From there, all you have to do is simply hit this second switch. Lower your, lower your, uh, your lift gate and drive off into the sunset. <laughs> so, um, I thought it was a pretty cool feature. I, it wasn't really a plan out thing. There, there's probably another you know way I could I could have went about it. Um, but I really like this setup, and uh, the way I do my builds as usual, like I said, it's, it's usually just on the fly. I just build, and just build. <laughs> I don't really have like like I said blueprints or anything like that. So all these builds that I show you are actually just freestyle builds, and um, like I said, the challenge is my favorite part. But um, also, we added the, uh, the reflective strips on the side, on um, both sides, in the rear, in the rear back here, stuff like that, you know, for safety, maybe, if, you know, you're driving around at night, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this pretty much covers the whole feature, all the features of this truck. Um, crazy, but not too crazy. You know, it, it has a lot of cool features, there's a lot of stuff and a lot of work went into it, but not like a long list of stuff. So this video is, is relatively short, but, um, just thought I want you know I'd like to share it with you guys. Uh, hopefully you like it. You know you can go ahead and comment. You know give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down uh, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I'd rather not get a thumbs down. Uh, but yeah, thank you uh, for joining me uh, and taking the time out to watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, show your boy some support, man. I'm trying to do these videos for you guys. I don't, I. <laughs> I really don't have much time to do it, but I do it for you. I do it for you. <laughs> but thank you. Have a good one.